Hi guys, welcome back to my Xperia's guide. Now I'm gonna review Popstar KD. So I believe even without my review, you guys already know that this is probably not worth to be used, okay? So let's take a look on her stats. Yes, you can awaken her to 7 stars, but if you take a look on her stats here, don't expect her to compete with real 7 stars characters, okay? Like you can see here, Citra stats really obliterated her okay for her health magic and spirit okay magic and spirit are really crucial for an evoker like you can see that compared to garnet her spirit is still worse okay also as an evoker evil magic plus is really important and like you can see here she only learned evil magic plus 30% and if you equip all of her exclusive equipment, she gets 60%. Maybe you can get 70% if you double hand her exclusive weapon. But that's kind of stupid. And maybe it is not working because it is the same, it is same weapon, okay? And yeah, compared to Garnet, who gets 80% evil magic. So really, Pop Star Katie is nothing special as an evoker. She also only has Paralyzed Resist, and Silent Slip Confused can be obtained by equipping her exclusive equipment. But I think those equipments are bad. Okay, so the last on six stars form is she has thirty percent chance to counter both physical and magical attack with. Backup dancers. This is basically a Kuraga. Okay, so this is. Mm, I don't see this will be good. Okay, because like you can see that her defensive stats are bad. Okay, so I don't see that she able to survive without tank protection. Okay, she probably gonna dead on her trial for easier content. She is also bad, okay? On her 7 stars, you if you equip her with her Trust Mastery Ward, you will get 50% faster MBV Rage and 5% MP Regen per turn. Those are good, but really, I really don't recommend you, okay? Because, like you can see, her Trust Mastery Ward increased Magic and Spirit by 30% when equipping her, okay? First, magic and spirit are good for an evoker, but I think the only evoker need this is maybe Eiko. No, no, no. Eiko is not an evoker, so Citra. Citra doesn't use harp, so I think this trash mastery word is kind of crap. So this trash mastery word is best used with for herself. I mean, okay, but. Really, you want to sacrifice? Uh, let me count it. Okay, uh, one, two. Yeah, you. Do you want to use your ninety percent trash Mughal to get this? I really against it. Okay, first, pop star Katie. I have said it. She's bad. Okay, so really, you don't want to get this trash master. Okay, save your trash Mughal. Yes, I know that she only need. 100,000 gale when you awaken her from 6 to 7 stars and she only need 4 million health ex experience to max her level okay at level 120 but really guys it is bad just bad okay still don't believe me let's take a look on her abilities so let's take a look on her 7 stars abilities first the first touch up it is MP battery skill, 30 MP to all allies except caster. Cure all status ailments to all allies except caster. Mm, I must say, this is bad, okay? First, if you need MP battery skill, then I believe that we already have good character that is better than her, and that is Rosalia. Rosalia only 3 stars characters, and really guys, her MP is her MP battery is real is better than this touch up. Yes, cure all status ailments 
to all allies is good but really you want to bring her only for this no 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 simply bad and finally her cooldown ability dress rehearsal so this will increase your evocation gauge four to five but really this is this is cooldown skill okay only five summoning or at the max what are they thinking okay so this is really not reliable and it also enable a skill to command show time you will see later what this skill is okay but for now her seven stars abilities are rubbish so she able to use two command abilities per turn so it is kind of like double cast but really it is bad simply bad okay first command cue the spotlight this deal fire damage so she trying to become impaler so it deals six times damage at the maximum so you gonna deal 12 times fire damage which is nothing special okay so it is about the same level on maximum stack viraja but really guys her magic stats are not that good okay next common back up dancer rush this deal seven times evoke damage so this rely on your magic and spirit okay because this is evocation damage but again her magic and spirit is are not that high and remember you need to raise both stats to get high evoke damage okay so it is kind of hard next command pass blast so this one maybe this one seems good okay you can chain it with quakes and maybe you say whoa this is good this is chainable with quake I must say this is bad yes it is chainable with quake but remember this deal non-elemental damage that means you only deal mm, normal chain which is bad okay so ignore this really and finally the last common back up dancer step this deal three times evoke damage so whatever katie whatever and finally the common show time okay which i have talked before this is chainable with tornado but again the same problem with common pass blast okay you deal non-elemental damage so even if it is chainable with tornado you gonna you only deal normal chain so what's the point it is really bad guys and her lb yes her lb maybe maybe it is it is the only redeeming quality okay but you need to level up this to the max to get 69 percent spirit break so really guys this is really really bad maybe maybe okay maybe this is one of the worst free characters Jimmy ever give to us okay maybe maybe they evoke damage gonna deal amazing damage but for most majority players i don't think it will be that great okay so enough about abilities let's talk about her exclusive equipment so first pop stars microphone so this will give you 10 percent evo magic okay so it is nice but i'm not sure whether you can stack this or not but yeah just try it by yourself even if you're able to stack it you only get 10 percent so nothing special and finally her head piece remember that you can equip this on anyone beside KJ Perry but the problem is the effects are simply bad okay defense and spirit plus 10 15 percent ice resist whatever okay whatever simply bad next the rope crimson dragon rope this is another bad thing defense plus defense and magic plus 20 with 10 percent mp whatever very very bad you can simply get silence rope and this is that is much more superior than this one for accessories it is her super chest master award it is free okay you can get it easily not like her trust master so it is nice but again 
really the effects are bad for other characters other than Popstar KD. For Popstar KD, it is quite nice because it gives you 20% Evo Magic Plus, which is kind of needed for her because she is an evoker. For exclusive abilities, it is spiritualism. It gives you 15% MP and spirit, whatever. It is bad in my opinion. And for Popstar KD, you will get auto shield and protect at the start of the battle. Really? It is that good? 20% defense and spirit? Really, really. Oh my god, very bad, okay? So in about equipment, my conclusion about Popstar KD. So yes, I have said multiple times that she is really, really bad. One of the worst free character Gumi ever made, okay? One good thing about her is she is easy to level up and you can get 50% trust Google from her. Okay, remember that if you make her into 7 such characters and you give, I mean enhance her with another pop star KD, the third, the third pop star KD, okay, you will get it free 50% trust Google. So that's good, but really don't use that trust Google to get her trust master okay really guys it is bad her trust master reward is really not worth your trust moogle okay maybe maybe if you use a call okay or other characters then maybe it is worth but really guys for maybe 99 or 95 percent characters on this game won't get much benefit from her trust master okay same for her super trash message reward it is useless for other characters other than her i really annoyed okay by their decision by only make evo magic plus 20 percent only available for pop star kd okay evo magic plus 20 percent is not that op okay it won't make you able to one shot omega after you get that 20 percent evo magic so really why why they do this to us, okay? So really guys, on this event, there is no unique item that I can recommend you to get, okay? All of her exclusive equipment are bad and really guys, they are just a waste of your equipment slot, okay? I think I'm gonna sell, I, I'm, I'm not gonna save those exclusive equipment okay because they are really bad maybe for microphone because it gives you evo magic plus 10 percent it is nice and for the headpiece it is it also gives you 15 percent isosis maybe if you fight someone who uses isosis that will be helpful especially for your aoe magic tank but really guys oh my god i think this is one of the worst event on this year on the game okay really i I, I'm really lazy farming her exclusive equipment, okay? Really, okay? Mm, my rating for her... Mm, I don't know how much I can give her, okay? So, yep, I think that's all you need to know about her, okay? If you think she's great, then feel free to use her, okay? But I won't. Definitely won't. Maybe I'm gonna sell her after this event is gone okay maybe because maybe we we will get something like objective using her on this event so just hold her for one or two weeks okay so thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy for our next guys bye bye guys